All right, hello everyone. Um, going into round one, I am going up against a Winter Moon deck, which which screams to me that um, they are going to be trying to go. Oh, I'll keep this hand. I got four. I got four playable cards, and well, I got all all of my high end cards. How is that possible? I have four cards that cost over five in the deck. Is it four or five? I got five cards that cost over five in the deck, and I drew three of them on my opening hand. Um, that does mean that um, the two drops and the three drops, the large number of two drops and the three drops in my deck, should make for a fairly a fairly decent hand here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open things up. All right, you hung up on me. That's fine. <sighs> this is not looking good for me. Is he going to attack with the Red Fur Ranger? Nope. Okay. Don't have a necessarily strong play yet. Oh, okay. I'll play the Junk Welder. Sane. All right, draws two cards, gonna discard one. He'll be down to six cards. Most likely not gonna attack here. Oh, he's gonna, okay. Why would he throw back a, a shard when he's down a shard? That's what I don't understand. Attack with the Junk Welder, right? He has chances of him having anything here is fairly low. I can then play a Crazed Raider, a 4-2. As an Empowered. True. Because I need to start pushing through a little bit of damage. I am surprised that he th discarded that card, though. You, you're not gonna... Are you gonna block? And what's nice about this is even if he... Even if he has like a... A battle. A, f a fearless fray. I can... I can now have a 5-3 Dustwing Scavenger. Well, unless he has a Predator and Prey here, which... Well, he'll swap things around. Okay. Okay. I want those Lasgar. Lasgar. Yes! This is exactly what I needed. So, if I... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Big hit on damage.
I would have thought he would have chum blocked at least one or two of those things. Okay, so I'm gonna follow it up with the first blood. Attack with everything. He can't... One point of damage is gonna get through. Alright, so I took game one. So, even though my starting hand wasn't that strong, um, the fact that I knew what was in my deck gave me a little bit more reinsurance. There's five There's five cards that cost more than five in the deck. So the fact that I had three of those five in my opening hand did seem a little bit discouraging, but I drew well. Uh, that's pretty much what happened there. I drew well. Benvolio giving me that additional card. Uh, my opponent being one turn late, and I think really that was the problem. He, he was just one turn late in trying to do anything, and it, it kind of all just fell apart on him. All right, let's go ahead and save this and see how I do in round number two of this. I do get to choose to go first or, s or second in the third round if um, if it does go, go that route. All right. So I will keep this hand. I have what I have three playable cards. Right. But the corpse caller will trigger off of the wailing uh, raider rider. So that gives me an extra an extra card to play. So I can play Corpse Caller, and then I can play um, a zombie if need be. Both very, very strong, uh, decent, decent enough openings. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm a little bit high on on blood right now, so that does concern me a little. Uh, if I can get a uh, ruby shard next turn that would be great if he dropped another one drop that would be or a one defense troop that would that would actually be just perfect okay please 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 give me a a, a ruby please give me a ruby Okay, I have eight rubies in the deck. A little bit less than a one in four chance. All right. Maybe I should I should have left this guy to block. Oh my goodness, if I had a ruby I would win pretty much instantaneously. Just a, a ruby. Okay. He's gonna attack with that. That's fine. I'm on a clock. I'm on a clock. I'm on a clock. 
<sighs> Spider. I am a little upset right now. I'll do that trade. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do that trade. Oh, good gosh. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. The cry of the eagle hits a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Too little, too late. I can't do anything about that. Actually, hold on. No, I should play it out. I should try and play it out. Okay, if I do that, no, I can't stop the two flyers. And I don't want him to know that I have a cleave. Or anything else in my hand, for that matter. That was very annoying. Not having one Ruby Shard completely changed the tempo of the game. He would not have been able to play Cry of Eagle and all of that. All right, I might, I might lose, but that's always the case, right? I might, you, you may always lose. I'll keep this hand. It's got four. It's got five playable cards. <laughs> Can I push through enough damage quickly? Is the is the big question here? Of course he has that. mind trading there.
a cleave would have been right would have been really useful there. This guy does not have spell shield yet. And I can't now I, I can't still can't draw a card yet. I'm in a really strange spot. How did, how was there two draw cards? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So he draws two cards because it naturally that gives him that. Okay. He has flight and spell shield. Lovely. <sighs> All right. I think there was a package at my door. All right, so cards that will let me win the game next turn. Uh, Staggering Blast, uh, Cry of Ganoween. Well, it depends on how, how many blockers he puts down. But if he... No, if, if, if I have a Cry, then he cannot block the Ashwood Apprentice either because I could throw down a Death Mask. Well, no, I can do the Death Mask Assailant and shift it in. Um, so Lasgar Ghoul, uh, instant win. Uh, Cry of Ganoween, follow-up win. A Shard, follow-up win. Pe unless he has some very, very large removal because this guy will become a 5-3 uh, five, three Swift Strike uh, unblockable unless you have five or more, um, five or more attack. So yeah, so so I I have a good I'm in a good position, uh, yeah I'm I'm in a good position I'm I'm hoping that I can I can um, win this and at least have at least have a couple more packs to do more Evo Gauntlets and things like that before, um well, uh what, Army of Myth and Primal Dawn Gauntlets go away forever. So yeah, that that's gonna be that there. Hmm. 
my what? My office is a dedication to all of the games I play. Let's see if you look behind me. Well, let's see. If you look behind me, what do you see? You see three hex posters. Um, you actually, I don't know. You might actually see a My Little Pony. Um, My Little Pony. Friendship is friendship is magic. Um, limit San Diego Comic Con limited edition. Uh, uh, the Maniac, in there as well. I so j just so I have a little bit more street cred as well. I do have uh, what. Um, directly behind the maniac, I have a bl signed copy of StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm given to me by Blizzard. Um, and when I mean signed copy, I do mean signed copy. Well, I, I'm waiting, so might as well show you. Wow, that was so beautiful. It broke the, broke the game and gave me the victory screen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.